But of all that here built of Britain, kings, aye, what's Arthur, the hendist, as I have heard tell? For thee an haunter in Erd, I attle to show, and an outrage I went to her of Arthur's wonders. About four years ago, I started work on a translation of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight because it was written in my part of the country, the Northwest. It tells me so much of its history and I wanted to celebrate it, but the language is just fantastic. This isn't a poem as we might think it. It's almost a novel. It's two and a half thousand lines of fabulous alliteration. It describes the medieval landscape. It's erotic. It has horror, it has romance, it has lust. Oh, it's just fantastic. I think Gawain and the Green Knight contains some really dark secrets. There are certainly some metaphors which make you really think about the monarchy and whether the monarchy is dead or is it alive. Modern versions have even, I think, tried to create new poetry out of the words and actually have destroyed the poem. I've tried to replicate the poem in its original form but to write it for a modern audience. So I tasked myself with writing for the poet himself. If he were here today and he read it, he said, by gum lad, you've done a good job, then I'd be a very happy man. As an artist, really what I've tried to do is to embellish this translation with a series of interesting and vibrant images to create, if you like, a medieval manuscript for the modern age. These prints can take days to produce, all of them produced by the liner cut method and printed on an old Albion press. This edition of Gawain and the Green Knight can't exist without other people's support. I want the Gawain poet to sing again to a new audience. As it be stad and stalken into a story stiff and strong.